Hi everyone. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about latent heat and specific latent heat. When we discuss about the phase change, we studied that uh, when solid changes into liquid, heat energy will be absorbed. And during the reverse process like liquid to solid, the heat energy will be liberated. And we studied a point that without increase in the temperature, right? And during this phase change, there won't be any change or increase in the temperature. The process will happen at constant temperature, okay? But we know that the heat energy is absorbing, but it is not utilizing to increase the temperature. Then where it goes that we are going to see in this case, okay? Uh, in this introduction of this chapter, we mentioned that total uh, heat energy is the sum of total internal energy. What is total internal energy? It is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay. So, just consider the solid. During the phase change, what happens? Okay, just consider solids. We know that all the molecules are very closely packed. And the attractive force is uh, very high comparing with the other state, right? So, okay. So, the solid, when it starts absorbing the heat energy, the kinetic energy will be, the average kinetic energy will be constant. But the energy which is absorbed is utilizing to overcome this attractive force and it absorbs heat energy and they are moving apart. That means instead of this kinetic energy, the molecules are moving apart. So what happens? It increases its potential energy when it changes into another state or liquid state. Solid to liquid. By the process of absorbing energy, the molecules are being apart and increases its potential energy. And it maintains the kinetic energy as constant. Okay. If we consider the case of ice. Consider ice as an example. What happens when it absorbs heat energy? Ice is at 0 degree Celsius. If you see the, if we consider the temperature, consider the temperature as 0 degree Celsius. And it absorbs the heat energy. And what happens? It changes into water. When it changes into water, what is the temperature? It is also at 0 degree Celsius. So the temperature becoming the constant factor and only the potential energy by changing the position of the molecules it increases the potential energy. That is actually we call with the name latent heat. Okay. The energy which is absorbed by the substance for its phase change and that is utilized for increasing the spacing or potential energy. That, is, that energy we used to call it as latent heat energy. The same thing is happening when liquid changes into gas and what happens uh, when the reverse process happens? The amount of heat energy is liberating or rejecting to the surrounding and what happens? It Finally all these molecules are coming together and join together to form liquid state and finally solid state. And so uh, while changing the phase, the amount of heat energy absorbed is known as latent heat that is utilized to change the potential energy. If this latent heat is expressed for unit mass, we used to call it as specific latent heat. Okay, so we can write the specific latent heat as L and that is equal to the heat energy absorbed absorbed or rejected during the reverse process the energy will be rejected so heat energy absorbed or rejected divided by mass so this is called specific latent heat if we express the latent heat uh, for a particular or unit mass we used to call it as specific latent heat so we can represent it as Q divided by M. Can you find out the uh, unit of this one? What is the unit of uh, energy, heat energy? It is Joule. And what is the SI unit of mass? It is 
kilogram. Right? So the unit of latent specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram or joule kilogram raised to minus 1. We can represent this in terms of calorie. So calorie uh, gram raised to minus 1. Now we will relate the uh, units. 1 kilo calorie gram raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 calorie gram. Sorry. 1. Now we will relate this uh, units. 1 kilo calorie Kilogram raised to minus 1 is equal to 1 calorie gram raised to minus 1. If we express calorie, if we connect calorie and joule, we will get uh, 1 calorie gram raised to minus 1. Or we can use the per sign. That is equivalent to 4.2 joule gram raised to minus 1. Represent terms of kilogram. 1 calorie gram raised to minus 1 is equal to 4.2 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kilogram. So these are the different methods uh, we can represent uh, the unit of latent specific heat capacity. Now particularly we are going to see the specific latent heat of fusion of ice. What is meant by fusion? Fusion is exactly same as that of melting. Uh, we can generally define the specific latent heat as uh, specific latent heat of a particular phase uh, is defined as the amount of heat energy absorbed or rejected or liberated uh, when the phase change happens. Okay, that is a common way. Now we are going to define particularly for ice. Okay, so ice at 0 degree Celsius. Now what happens? So, specific latent heat of fusion of ice means uh, the amount of heat energy required by unit mass of ice at 0 degree Celsius to convert it into 0 degree Celsius water. It is the amount of heat energy that is this Q. Okay. So, specific latent heat of fusion of ice means it is the amount of heat energy Absorbed by the ice, unit mass of ice to change from 0 degree Celsius ice to 0 degree Celsius water. Now what is the reverse process? The latent heat of freezing of ice. Here fusion, melting means fusion. When we define it as the reverse process, we have to mention it as the latent specific heat of freezing of ice means it is the amount of heat energy rejected when water at 0 degree Celsius changes into ice at 0 degree Celsius. Okay. So, this is the way we have to define particularly related with ice like fusion, freezing. Then same way we can mention it as uh, vaporization, condensation. So, there we have to mention it as 100 degree Celsius water changes into 100 degree Celsius steam. Right? No. Without increasing the temperature, the amount of heat energy absorbed by the water at 100 degree Celsius to change to 100 degree Celsius steam. Reverse process. 100 degree Celsius steam absorbed, rejected a particular amount of energy to come back to 100 degree Celsius water. Okay. So, this is the way how we can define particularly with the specific latent heat. Now we will see like uh, specific heat capacity we studied the particular value for water. Here we are giving much importance to this ice. Now we will see what is the latent specific heat capacity of ice. So for ice the specific latent heat is 3 like 36,000 joule per kilogram. That means 1 kilogram of ice if it want to melt it require an energy of 336 sorry 3 like 36,000 joule. Okay. If 1 kilogram of ice need to melt means it need 3 like 36,000 joule. 
if we express in terms of calorie it need 80 calorie per gram okay per gram it need 80 calorie this is for 1 kilogram if we express for 1 gram like cgs unit we need 336 joule per gram okay so ice if 1 gram of ice need to melt mean it need 336 joule energy to melt it heat energy okay so that is the reason uh, we have lots of application in our day to day life and in the nature itself so these values you have to keep in your mind for 1 kilogram 3 like 36,000 joule per kilogram and for 1 gram it is 336 joule per gram. So these values are very important to find out the consequence that we will see in the next class. Thank you.